I want it to be rich. Well, for one thing, you got to be in the Word. But if you're seeking, brethren, Scripture says that in Jeremiah 29, 13, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And who is it that said that everybody has what, or everybody gets what they want? In other words, what you really desire, God will give to you. And if you really desire Him, He will give Himself to you. But a lot of, a lot of our desire for Him can be measured by the amount of energy we're willing to put into seeking Him. And I can tell you this, that, that those who give themselves not just, not just to the Word, but to serious seeking of Him in prayer. And I mean, I, I mean more than casual praying. I mean, you spend quality and quantity time with God speaking to Him thinking on his word having i mean having a bible in hand and just walking the fields or wherever you go and spending time just speaking with him and meditating on his word seasons like we just came out of where you're fasting but seeking him regularly taking time specifically when you're putting everything else out of your life and you're going to be with Him. I'll tell you this, if you work at your relationship with God, and I mean you're pursuing it with a passion because you really want to hear Him and you want to find Him, you want manifestations, I could I, look, all you have to do is read the biographies. You know there are Christian men and women who have gone deeper than most everybody else. And, and if you look at their seeking after God, it's never casual. Those that have drank deepest from that cup of fellowship with God, they have given... It's, isn't it like any relationship? You'll never have a friendship unless you work at being a friend. You'll never have a good marriage unless you work at that marriage. You're never going to have you're never going to have a deep relationship with God unless you nurture it. Just like a garden. I mean, you've got to water that thing. You've got to put forth that effort. You say, what? This is all... You're talking works? I'm talking this. Yes, when there's a relationship. I'm not talking that this is how you're saved. I'm talking... We're talking about going deep. We're talking about hearing God speak to us in ways that lots of other people maybe perhaps don't know or know very infrequently. If you're wanting to go deep... Who is it that gets to ascend the hill of the Lord? Who is it that gets to dwell in the glory? I mean, just dwell in the Shekinah glory where it so overwhelms your soul. Where, where maybe, I, I, I mean, when you're actually enjoying God in a way that it's just eclipsing the rest of this world. Where you're feeling like, I just want to be swept away into glory. How do you get there? Well, you get there through pursuing God. I mean, Scripture says to us that everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds. God wants to be sought. We not only, I not only could prove to you from Scripture that God wants you to see. It, it's the glory of God to hide things. Have you ever read that? Well, it's the glory of God to hide not only truth. It's the glory of God to hide Himself. And He will be found by those who are desperate to find Him. Just like truth needs to be dug, you will find treasure if you dig for it. This is, God is a treasure to be dug for. And He'll not be had cheaply. I mean, His intimacy and His fellowship and His closest manifestations are not to be had casually and cheaply. And it's just true. I mean, look at the people in Scripture who look at David. Do you not find David? I mean, you just see him, his prayer life. All you had to do is read the Psalms to know how his prayer life was. He panted after God. What is that? That's not that doesn't lead to a casual life. I, I, I encourage you all. Just seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. And it just it takes prayer. It takes seeking His face. It takes meditation. Oh, there's nothing like just getting in those, in those places where you're undisturbed and you can think on His, on His person, 
on His Word. You can talk to Him. You can sing to Him. Just getting alone where you can sing to the Lord, where you can talk to Him, where you can open up the Word. Maybe you're memorizing some Scripture and you're working through the words and you're thinking what that teaches you about Christ or about His salvation, about the character of God. You're just meditating on the person of God and communicating with that God who you're meditating with. If, if you're given to reading Scripture for 15 minutes a day and, and praying for 5 minutes a day, and, and some, you know, it's like every other day or every third day, you're not going to know that kind of life. You can read somebody like Hudson Taylor and you find how just swept into glory. Somebody like uh, Jonathan Edwards or his wife, just uh, Payson, Edward Payson. I mean, you just re- read some of these lives. Or, or even some people that you may know that are, that, that are alive that have, have had tremendous experiences with God. You'll never, you'll never find that they deal with their relationship with God as though it's some cheap thing, some trivial thing. They take it dead serious. And it is the priority in their life. I mean, second to none. I want more of God. If, if you've got, if God's second, third, fourth on your list, you're just not going to have what the people have that put Him first. And in fact, if you just regularly can live your life and, and with it, without Him first, you know, Jesus would call into question whether you can even be His disciple. 